welcome back to a new video so today's video i'm going to be using madame glam gel polishes oh one was still open let me just sort this out mm, stupid um lemon cello birthday at the plaza rooftop party i heart new york and belle epoch so i'm going to be using these ones now i saw this picture in a group i've put it on the screen here i really liked it and i wanted to recreate them don't know whose who's, um, nails they are though because there was no image and it wasn't the ladies who posted the picture because the lady, the original poster was asking for inspiration and this lady was just posting like a load of different nails so I don't know who the original nail tech is to credit them but it is not it wasn't me don't credit me <laughs> okay so in a nutshell it, I mean, it's so easy, and I thought this is probably not going to be. It's not. There's not a lot going on in this video. All we're going to do is an ombre, which you've seen me do 50 million and one times, probably by now on this channel, if you've been a follower for a while. Um, I like to use my ombre brush to do my ombres, and I just kind of play around, brushing backwards and forwards until it's blended. Uh, the first coat, I don't worry about too much. See, so I'm going to leave it like that and pop it in the lamp. Then I'm going to do my second coat and I'm leaving, I'm making sure, it, this time I thought I want the yellow to go up a little bit higher. So the the Belle Epoch colour I put up just a little bit. So there's like one or two millimetres from the initial ombre line. But it doesn't matter as long as it's somewhere close, you know, because you don't want to start the ombre right up the top if you've done the ombre right down the bottom. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm just going to use my brush to flick backwards and forwards. This is probably what took most of the time, I think, out of this whole... Actually, yeah, hand painting sometimes takes me a little while. Uh, but when it comes to ombres, I am I, I am a faffer. Um, but I got there in the end. And, yeah, I mean, you can see, look, I'm just literally... And I will... At the end, I do clean my brush... And I'll start sort of in the nude colour. Do I do it in the nude? I don't know if I clean my brush. But I work, start at the top and then I work my way down through the yellow all the way to the bottom. But by doing that, some of the yellow... Yeah, here we go. Some of the yellow bunched up to the bottom. Um, so I probably should have just sorted that out. I had like a little bit of a, a curve. Like a little bit of a bulge at the very free edge. Can you see it? It's a bit of a bulge. which I should have I'm just yeah see I'm faffing she is a major faffer there we are do I I don't know what I do now oh I think I cure it I cure it <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do the same but I'm gonna use these three different colors they're really really pretty colors again just three ombres um, so that I've got four nails in total. If you want to do another colour, you can. Oh, this one I dropped and I got dust on it. So I'm going to wipe the top over with some... This is isopropyl alcohol. You can use gel cleanser if you want. There we go. Now it's just going to... Now when we come to top coat it, there's not going to be any lumps and bumps in it. This is Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. By the way, you can get 30% off any Madame Glam products apart from items in their clearance section because they are already heavily reduced but you can get 30% off everything else using my code natmug30 there we go oh yeah look, i was just showing you if you top coat it if you hold it upside down and it will kind of level out the top coat because we've got if you see we've got lots of ridges in it where we've been doing our ombre um i like to just go over with top coat and then hold it upside down just so that it reduces the amount of lumps or ridges in the nail after we've top coated because I, I have this thing I like all the nails to be super smooth and that was them done I don't think that's too lumpy bumpy or too ridgy I think that's okay for me I will I will bear that <laughs> I will put up with it right for this next part you're going to need some acrylic this is clear acrylic um my it's some of Rachel Wilder's older stuff when when it was called um Team Gorgeous I'm just going to put some of each of the different colours that I've used on the nails onto my palette. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw on our flames. 
using the different colour gel polishes. Gel polishes. And you'll need a detailer brush for this bit. I'm going to start with a blue one because I quite like this colour. Actually, I like all of them. I'm going to use the now Sugar Natalie Language detailer brush, which is not available anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but we're going to use that. If you've got a nice, fine detailer brush, then you use that as well. Um, the only thing I will say is trying to hand paint on a shiny surface is not easy. It really is not easy. But I managed it. And I'm just, all I'm literally doing is I've had an image of the set of nails up on my iMac. And I was copying that image onto the nail as best I could so it's kind of like I don't even know how I can describe it it's like a horseshoe shape with some swirly bits coming out the top that's how I would describe it so that this curvy bit is the curve of the horseshoe and then it, yeah it's just just flamey i tell you what you want to do is you just want to look up on instagram or pinterest pinterest is actually a really good place to get inspiration for nail art um i think it's very underrated um yeah in my opinion so if you ever want any inspiration go and have a look on pinterest I like Instagram too, that's a good one. So where the flames are at the bottom, they, they, they get thinner at the top. But I want the bottom of the, oh, I'm so rubbish at describing stuff. In fact, I'll probably speed this up. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Then the next step is not to cure it. You're gonna sprinkle it with acrylic. Now what's gonna happen is the acrylic, no, the gel polish will suck up the acrylic. So what you'll notice is you'll pat it on and then you will see it start to go shiny again where it is sucking up the acrylic. If it does start to go shiny again, just pour some more acrylic on and don't pop it in the lamp until there are no shiny bits. I'm going to go over it again because there was a little bit of a little bit of shiny in there. There we go. So now I'm looking at it and I can't see any shiny bits coming through. And I like to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. They normally cure for 30, but because it's got acrylic in it, I'll give it a double cure. And this is my favourite bit, dusting off the excess acrylic. And I, I'm a massive fan of the contrast between the shiny and the matte especially when you make this like textured look with the acrylic powder it's probably one of my favorite things to do on nail designs i love it so much i think that's why i wanted to do it <laughs> i probably, it probably won't get any views but you enjoyed it so what the heck <laughs> all right so this nail i'm gonna do the same but i'm doing a slightly different I don't want all the flame shapes to look the same so i'm trying to make it slightly different and i was trying to copy the image on the nails but it was a little bit awkward because i couldn't quite the nail the image of the nail that i i was get taking inspiration from or recreating uh they the nails were slightly at an angle so it, you were kind of looking at them almost side ish on so it made it a little bit awkward so you kind of just have to just kind of you know guess 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 a bit i suppose okay now it's my favorite bit again i love i don't know what it is about this bit but i love sprinkling the acrylic on the my window right is on the left hand side but for some reason my acrylic was kind of blowing to the left whereas it should have been blowing to the right because yeah it was really weird um but there we go so just making sure any shiny spots are completely covered There we go. I think that's okay. Little, little bit more. If you're ever unsure, just one extra sprinkle. <laughs> the best bit again, dusting off the acrylic. And that just reveals the matte embossed kind of look over the shiny, which I love. I'm gonna do something similar to these two nails. And this is what they look like. I think these are so funky. I don't, I'm not normally a big fan of flames, but I really like these. And you could do something like flowers or you don't have to do flame. I mean, you could, yeah, it's brilliant. Anyway, 
thanks for watching i hope you liked this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing um it's completely free and you can always change your mind later though i'd rather you stayed um god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye